Hey, Crazy Will here today, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Harmony Hub. That's right, it controls your entertainment system. I'm gonna show you what it does and how it works, so stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna to be talking about this little black box in my hand. This is the Logitech Harmony Home, and what this little device does controls all that stuff behind me. And that's why we're in my living room today. I'm gonna to show you how to set one of these up and make it work with our buddy Alexa. All right, so what I have set up here is I have my Harmony Hub, which is right here in the middle of the TV. I have the TV, I have a speaker bar, and I have my Xbox and my Fire Stick, which is hooked in the back of the TV. So what I did was I configured the Harmony Hub to all those devices. And then I added a skill to my Echo Dot so that way all I have to say is, Alexa, turn on Fire TV. Okay. And there you go. Now the Fire TV has been activated. All right, so what just happened here is I gave a command to my Echo Dot. It sent it to the Harmony Hub. The Harmony Hub turned on the TV, turned on the power bar, and turned on the Fire TV stick. So. It did all of that simultaneously under one command. I set it up in the app and that's all I have to do. And now what I could do is say, Alexa, turn on Xbox. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, you could turn on multiple devices and it's not just Xbox, it's not just Fire TV, it's any device that has an IR signal. Alexa. Turn off Xbox. Okay. And there you go, it turned it off. I also set it up on a timer through Alexa to turn it off at a certain time at night. Just in case I fall asleep in my chair and the TV's on, it turns off a whole bunch of stuff, which does happen from time to time. But I only use it really to turn it on and off and raise and lower the volume. I really still use my Amazon Fire TV remote, which is nice because it also does have Alexa built into it. Let me show you some of the functionality. What I could do from here is I have a movie playing in the background and the keyword is to tell harm to raise the volume so this is how we could do it now I could do it from this button right here my echo through my fire stick TV remote this button right here actually links to Alexa so the command is tell harmony that's what we do so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit play on this actually you can do it from here too I paused it but we're gonna do it from the actual echo so ready Alexa play Alexa, ask Harmony to raise the volume. See? Alexa, ask Harmony to lower the volume. Okay. And as you can see, she lowered the volume, and I can tell her again. Alexa, ask Harmony to lower the volume. Okay. All right, so she hears you pretty well. I'm gonna pause this so I don't get any copyright issues. I could also tell her to do that. Alexa, pause the video. So usually it's Ask Harmony, but usually when you're in the mode, you could tell it to play, you could tell it to, to pause. Like if I said right now, Alexa, play. Because it knows it's in the Harmony. Alexa, pause. And you also have the functionality on your phone, just in case you still do want to have a remote control to everything. And it makes it a universal remote control. And not only do you have that functionality, but you get to share the remote control. So usually it's me and my wife. I'm usually on one side of the room and she's usually on the other side of the room. If I fall asleep and she's like, you know what, we were watching this together. I want to watch. Grey's Anatomy, she can take over the remote control right from her phone, click on turn on Fire TV or change it, whatever, but right now Fire TV's on, so you can actually control your Fire TV. So as you can see, I'm moving. So let's pick Netflix just for giggles, hit OK. You can hit play again, hit OK. And there you go. And then you could switch back and you can control the volume. So let's say I'm snoring really loud and she needs to turn up the volume. So now we can go to devices and she can turn up the volume.
Now we can go back to TV and we can pause it. All right, so there's a lot of functionality and I could really get into this remote, but I'm not going to. If there's other functionality that you need, leave a comment down below and I'll try and answer it. If not, I will try and make a video on it. Another cool thing that I always have by my chair and I wanted to share with you guys is my iPad. And you have all the functionality on the iPad as well. So you can click on all your controls right from here and still be able to control it right from here. So let's hit play. So that's another cool functionality is you have it all built in to your whole ecosystem. So you can grab your iPad and then launch the Harmony Hub app. It's all controlled through an app. So like for example, for me, sometimes I don't have my phone on me because it's charging. I can grab my iPad, which is usually next to my chair. Bam, launch the Harmony Hub app and just use my TV from there. So I keep going on and on about the Harmony Hub app. Instead of me keep showing you everything it does, let's take a look at the app right now. Now we're in the app part of the video, so we're gonna click on Harmony Hub, and you just click on that little app right there, it'll, it'll launch. And you can see these are all the activities, and like I said, unfortunately the activities don't seem to be working with the Fire TV, they might do an update with that later on, but it works great with the Roku, so what you're seeing here is like, if I hit watch Netflix, it'll actually start on my Roku, and it'll launch Netflix, it'll turn on the TV, it'll do all that stuff. Xbox, it automatically connects to, it turns it on and off as I showed you. And you can add an activity, and I'm not going to get into that part of it, if you do want more of that, please just add a comment at the bottom, and if I get enough people that want want to see more about this I'll make a video but you can edit activities you can move them around you just click on these lines and you can move them around wherever you want put that there and just showing you or you can add an activity and it goes into the whole you know setup process of the activity I'm not going to get into that with this video I'm going to get out of this and then you can go into devices now in devices these are all the devices that are actually connected to my harmony hub they were all the devices that you saw it turn on and off so what we have here is my fire tv my vizio amp which it's not an amp it's actually just a speaker my roku my samsung tv and my xbox so it'll it turns all those off off and on but if you go into them you get the controls so whichever one you click on you get controls and if you swipe to the side, you get more uh, inputs and outputs. Uh, let's see, like if you go into the Samsung, you get like the channel, you get the moving button, the, the menu button. It's a very vast menu, so every device has something in it. Now to add a device, all you'd have to do is you go to edit right here. And this is where I would tell you make a list. Go to the back of your TV, get the model number and the make, write them down. Before you do anything, if you're setting up a new Harmony Hub, I would highly recommend this. It may discover them, but it probably won't. So have the make and model of the TV. Write them all down before you even open the app. Do yourself a favor. You'll, sell, you'll save yourself tons of time. All right, so we're in this part. You could hit plus right here and you can add a new device. And you got an ent entertainment device home control device, computer function, or scan Wi-Fi. Now the home control device, apparently you can add more home control devices. I haven't seen it. I think they're trying to work on automation, but it I've never seen it control any of my devices. Oh, maybe they did. Maybe they added more. See, I don't see anything in here that would relate to what I have. Apparently you can control that, and somebody was under the impression that this can actually control your fan. Let me be perfectly clear, the one that I have does not control uh, radio frequencies, it only controls IR frequencies, infrared frequencies, so they're wrong about that, the Harmony Hub being able to do that. I have another video, which you could see right here, about how to hook your bond to control radio frequencies and control your fan. So I'm gonna leave that video up there, but that's what you need to control your fan. Okay, so that's basically the app. Okay, it's pros and cons time. Pros, it works with Alexa. You can do your basic functions, turn on, turn off, play, stop, raise the volume, lower the volume, all your basic functions right from your voice, which is really, really cool. You can use your smartphone as a remote control. I can't tell you enough how cool that is. 
I like the fact that I'll never really lose my remote control, not unless I lose my phone. This device works amazing with Roku. It really does. Out of all the devices that I had hooked to this, the Roku is where it worked the best and it was more compatible with. You could just say, launch Netflix and it would do it right on the Roku. The Fire Stick, I like the Fire Stick better just for functionality, but voice controls, it wasn't as good as the Roku. Cons. The first con I'm gonna tell you guys about is that it's a little confusing in the beginning. It is a real pain in the butt to set up. I am not going to lie, you are going to be really aggravated. It has gotten better. When I first got this, I've had this over a year, it took me over three hours to set it up just to get used to the way they did things and to get it connected to my devices. So it, it, I have noticed it's gotten a little bit better, but it's still confusing, it's still a little rough, and if you've worked with any Logitech remote controls or Harmony products, you'll know the confusion that I'm talking about, and if you haven't and you purchased this, do not be mad at me. <laughs> Another con that was big for me, and I talked about it with the Roku, that it would launch Netflix. Unfortunately, it will not launch Netflix on Fire TV. Now, I don't know if that's Fire TV's problem or it's the Harmony Hub. I don't know. It was a feature that I really liked considering that I cut cable probably about three years ago, which I'm thinking about making a video about that. So if you like that idea, please leave a comment down below. But I just like the fact that I could say launch Netflix or launch Amazon Video. And on the Roku, you could do those things and unfortunately, on the Fire TV, you can't do those things. And I don't know why that is. It's a little frustrating. Limited function. I can't say a lot of things like, you know, play last. That, that, that really aggravates me. Why can't it know what I was watching on Netflix on the device that I was watching? And I could just say play last and it just turns on and goes back from where I left. Maybe I'm asking too much for it. I don't know. I, you know, what do you guys think? you know, leave comments, but I think it should have more functionality, I even make it work even better with fire sticks. So I could say, hey, look up Marvel movies or look up, you know, for my wife, Beauty and the Beast. I don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it just display it. And that's where the functionality, when it goes into the actual menus of the things, aren't the greatest. Okay, so my overall thoughts on this, between the pros and cons, I really like the device. This device normally goes for $100. I'll be honest with you, I don't feel it's worth $100. If you want a universal remote, they sell it with a kit, and it goes on sale for $100 with the universal remote, and then you'll have that functionality. But I still use a remote, so, you know, the functionality's not bad. I paid $50 for mine. I got, I got it on sale last year. I said for 50 bucks, it's worth a shot. Would I pay any more than that? I think $50 is my limit. I think this is worth $50 for the voice functionality and phone functionality. I think it's awesome. I, I don't find myself using my phone remote as much as I just use my Fire TV remote. As far as using your phone as the remote, it's a cool feature. I think my wife actually does like it, so, you know, I know I don't like it, but my wife actually does like using her iPhone as the remote control because the remote control is usually on my side. Like every husband, I take over the TV and she waits for me to fall asleep to watch the stuff she wants. Grey's Anatomy. I like the fact that I can control it with my voice. I use it an extreme amount. And it does work with groups and routines, which is really great. The funny part is it was easier to set up through Alexa than it was actually on the Harmony Home. I love and hate the device, so let's, let's rate this. I'm gonna say that it's a four star, guys. I hate doing this, but it's just, it's not there yet. I don't think the average person would, you know, like if I gave this to my father, he would probably shoot me. <laughs> you know, but if you're a techie kind of guy or you're a patient person that will sit there and set it up, then I definitely say it's for you. That's my review, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. And remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. Later, guys. You know, it helps if I have the HDMI cable. You thought I was a picture, didn't you? Make sure you like and subscribe. Do me a favor already.